Central Review. I am at Allagash Brewing Company in Portland, Maine. They don't do food. So this uh, pretzel review is actually for Bite into Maine, which is a food truck that is outside of Allagash. And that they're best they're best known for their lobster rolls. But they had a pretzel. So I was like, I'm right here. The food truck is three feet over. Let's do a review of it. So here it is. Let's get a good look. And there's they do one sauce, it's beer cheese. So ooh, buttery. Okay. So here's the thing. This is obviously hand rolled, handmade. Absolutely. It's very greasy, very buttery. It's almost a little too buttery for me. Like, my fingers are slipping. Salt coverage is minimal. I got a floating on the frame there. Salt coverage is minimal. So, that's just. The greasiness is the most. Okay, do the regular taste. It's no real crunch. Like it tastes done. I feel like you could bake it a little longer and just give that an extra crunch. My table's kind of rocky. That greasiness, I think it's like a, like a garlic butter. It's a nice taste. The salt is minimal, but the garlic buttery thing, I think, improves on it more than regular salt. I'll take that. I'll take that swap. I just, I wish it was crispier. It's got the garlic gives it a hair of a you've had the crazy bread from little Caesars. It's got a bit of that taste. The crazy bread is the best thing from little Caesars. Fuck the pizza. The pizza's gross. Of course it's five dollars for a large pizza, so what do you expect? The crazy bread is where that's at. It's got a bit of that taste. Okay, let's get into this beer cheese. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's not your beverage, just like open, like army surplus cane of cheese kind of taste. This is homemade. Not spicy. It's almost like a sweetness to it. Again, you watch the, the pressure reviews before. I like a couple different dips. This beer cheese is good, but I think I might actually run out. It's okay. But, um, in total, it's very, like, my fingers are very greasy. I don't really like that. I do like the garlic taste to it, but I feel like you could add the garlic taste to the actual bread itself. You don't need to, like, coat it on the brush. You can add garlic into the bread when you bake it. And you, you'd obtain the same taste. So you, you wouldn't need the greasy butter aspect to it. So, I mean, it's a finger food. I feel like finger food is like you should. You do it once, and you're like, I, gotta, I can't like touch anything else until I put my hands. Taste wise, it's good. I really wish there was. Crunch to it. There's zero crunch. Ah, it's about as drool all over the place. So, yeah, I think they could have baked it a little longer. Just 
leave it in for a couple more minutes and you get that baked, the baked crust. Perfect, because it's, it's, it's not dense. It, the, consist, the internal consistency is good. It's not like, sometimes it's just too heavy and thick. It's actually perfect, they just needed a bake it longer. Cheese is good. I wish there was at least a second, something spicy. Give me the cheese and give me something spicy. Because I like a nice spicy dip. I'm a, I'm a spicy man. So all in all, eh, pretzel, I'm gonna give it like a... I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Just because it's one dip. It's not crunchy. Very greasy. And I feel like the improvements, it wouldn't take much. You could tweak it, like overnight, and you could get it, bump it up to like an eight and a half. Easy, easy. But you're not going to that place for pretzel, you're going to there for like the lobster rolls. So, you know, take it as you will. But anyways, that's the review of the pretzel and Allegash Brewery by Light in the Main. Check out the actual brewery review.